What is up everybody? This is your boy Is Nefarious and I am here with another edition of your favorite PML series, Gold Rush. For those of you that don't know, Gold Rush is about the San Francisco 49ers of the Premier Madden League and their story and their golden boy who is going to be Ty Chandler for this whole series. So we're playing the Seattle Seahawks in week two. We are 1-0 and on the season. So a good start to the season and a good start to our first drive as we hand it off to Ty Chandler there. He's going to get a lot of, a lot more touches now that Raheem Mostert is injured for about six weeks, I believe. Or it might be longer than that. He, I think he had a, a partial PCL tear or something like that. He did have a some kind of tear that had him... Uh, that has them shelved for a while. And as you can see, we're running it heavy in this rain game against the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks come in 1-0 and as well. So this right now uh, is to remain uh, undefeated and also give the Seattle Seahawks. This could be a big game uh, throughout the year that we look back to. So we definitely want to get a win here, even though it's so early in the season. And Debo Samuel almost takes it in. It looks like he broke the plane, but unfortunately he stopped, stopped at the one. But that doesn't matter because we're just going to run a sweep to Ty Chandler and he's going to run it into the end zone for a score. His second score on the season. And uh, so far so good. Our offense is starting well. And our first play on defense, we get an interception from none other than Randy Gregory, who had a big interception in Game 1, another big interception in Game 2. Uh, it's going to help us get out to a bigger lead, hopefully, if we could punch this in. Garoppolo is going to find Debo Samuel, and he's going to run past a few guys and break it into the end zone, making it uh, at least 13-0. Hopefully, we hit that uh, PAT. We do, so it's 13-0. Russell Wilson has his offense back on the field. He's going to hit a little... Um, a little running backs, uh, I don't know what he call it, an out. Um, he's going to hit that, and he's going to set up third and three. Uh, we got the pass first defense out, but he's going to roll to his right, and he's going to play use uh, a user playmaker, and then he's going to run all the way into the end zone with DJ Moore, his tight end, and he's going to uh, cut the lead from 13-0 to zero to 13-7. to seven. So hopefully we could continue getting our offense down the field, but unfortunately we're forced on a three and out. Next thing you know, he comes back and tries to hit a deep pass over the middle, but that's broken up. Um, then Russell Wilson's going to hold this one. He's going to break through the middle, and nobody tackles him. He's going to take it to the 20, the 15, the 10, to the 5, and nobody's going to catch him as he takes it into the end zone. At least tying this game, since they uh, missed the PAT, it is tied 13-13 instead of 14-13. And it's going to be a big sack here. Uh, on Jimmy Garoppolo setting up a third and long Jimmy Garoppolo is going to drop back he's going to look around but he finds nothing and he tries to hit somebody on the sideline but unfortunately it's caught but out of bounds so now Seattle has the ball and they're going to try to get the lead they go for the end zone there but that's broken up by the uh, San, Francis San Francisco's defense now a little screen to Rashad Penny is going to be uh is going to be tackled short of the first down. So it's a fourth and one, and he's going to go for it. He's going to try to break it to the outside. But with good pursuit, we're able to stop him a yard short. So that's a big stop there. Um, gives us the ball back, and we got a chance to get the lead. But Ty Chandler is running into the offensive line right now on the defensive line. It's really clogged up the middle. And then you're going to see Jimmy Garoppolo fumble it in the red zone for the Seattle Seahawks and they take it in for a quick score making it 19 to 13 this this whole game there's going to be a a little um wacky scores just because uh the connection was delayed and some of these kicks are god awful um a lot of missed PATs and a lot of punches uh punts botched uh happened in this game uh I am East Coast, and the Seattle user is a West Coast user, so I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Most likely it did. That's probably why our connection wasn't as, as good, and he also, he was the host in this game. And as you can see, Russell Wilson's going to keep it on a read option and take it straight to the end zone, giving the Seattle Seahawks a 26-13 to lead, but we're not going to give up. It's still early in the game, second quarter. We're going to try to get a quick score. Hopefully, uh, we're only down by one possession going into the second half. Seattle's going to have that ball. And as you can see, we almost throw a pick there. But luckily, it, it floats over and it lands in Ty Chandler's hands. And a big uh, roughing the passer call right there. So it's going to give us good position 
uh, on the opposing side of the field. And we're going to hand off to Ty Chandler. He's going to run right at it, Jamal Adams and take a lick, but he holds on to the football, so that was big. And then he's going to power forward to get a first down for us. So far, Ty Chandler's having a good game. This re Seattle run defense isn't the best. Um, we're going to have Ty Chandler try to take it to the outside on a running back screen, but he gets stopped there. Third and four, we're looking to go to the end zone to Mike Williams, and it's overthrown. So we settle for a field goal here with under a minute left in the second quarter. We're able to hit that, thankfully, making it 26-16. to 16. So we're still chasing by two scores. End of the second quarter, we get a big sack there, knocking him out of field goal position. But they still have another chance. Second and 24. They throw it deep and it's caught by DJ Moore. What a catch that was. Setting him up in good position. With only 8 seconds left. He tries to run another play. He's wasting a lot of time. He throws over the middle. It's caught but it's stopped at the 1. Unfortunately he's unable to punch that into the end zone. So it's 26-16 to 16, heading into the second half. He hits TJ Lockett on a good out there. Setting him up in good field position. Then he hands it off to Rashad Penny. But it's stopped there. 3rd and 2. He's going to run a little running back screen. It's caught by Rashad Penny, and he picks up the first down for him. So it gives him good position in the first down on our side of the field. Then he tries to throw over the middle, and instead of picking that off, we deflect it. It would have been big if we could have got a pick there. Don't know why we're, we weren't able to get a pick animation, and it just tackled the guy. But a good little run by Rashad Penny. Then he tries a little end around, but that's stuffed immediately. So now he hands it off to Rashad Penny again, and he's going to take it all the way into the end zone, but there is a flag on the play, and as you can see, it's going to be a holding call, and also we got Nick Bosa who got injured on a previous play. He is not going to be able to return for this game, so he's out for the rest of the game. That's going to be a big hit to our defense, um, who's struggling right now, giving up 29 points. Well, they only gave up 22, but still struggling. Hopefully we could, you know... Stop him on offense. I mean, stop him on defense and get big offense, uh, especially runs like that by Ty Chandler, who took it all the way down to the, the sideline and onto the opponent's, uh, opponent's side of the field. And then he almost breaks that one for a touchdown, but it's uh, chopped down by his ankles. And then he takes it to the outside again. We've been running heavy. Uh, we're going to hand it off to Jarek McKinnon, who's going to run straight into the end zone with a wide open lane. There's been a lot, a lot of wide open running leads for the running backs in this game, especially in a run, uh, a rain game. It's a great thing to see because we don't want to put it in the air too much. And as you can see, I am a terrible tackler. Uh, just by that one play, um, he ba barely made a move, and I just flew by him. And we're gonna get a nice big sack from Randy Gregory. Uh, so Randy Gregory stepping up big with uh, Nick Bosa out. He's gonna go deep to Tyler Lockett. Looks like we got it covered, but it's gonna be caught by Tyler Lockett. What a great catch by Tyler Lockett and a great throw by Russell Wilson. He's going to try a little read option, and that's going to be stuffed inside the five. And then he's going to drop back, back to pass it, but he sacked almost immediately. We sent a lot of pressure there. Put him back at the nine-yard line. He's going to try to throw a little out to his running back, and then it's going to be stuffed immediately. So we hold him to a field goal. So they're only up 32-22 with seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. So we got plenty of time to come back. And the good... the key part of this is we could still run the ball like this with Ty Chandler as he picks up a quick 11 yards on the first handoff and we're going to keep feeding him just based on how much running room we have right now and we picked up another five if we're picking up four to five yards every carry why not just run the ball every time and we pick up another first down so a huge game from Ty Chandler so far and he really takes off towards the second half as you can see, we're going to throw to the sideline, and that's picked off, but luckily that's out of bounds, so we get another chance, and we're going to hand it off to Ty Chandler. He's going to get to the outside on, outside on a fake end around, and he brings it all the way down inside the 30. We're at the 23-yard line. We're going to hand it off to Ty Chandler again. He finds running room to the left, and he almost gets a first down, so we're, we're marching right now, and it's going to be big to get a score here. We cannot come out without a score. And we're going to get a score from Ty Chandler with the second rushing touchdown of the game. About 20 yards, uh, about 15 yards out he was there. And we're going to miss the PAT again. So we're still down four instead of being down three. Hopefully that PAT doesn't come back to hurt us. As you can see, he's going to throw right over to DK Metcalf. But it's actually... Um, an inaccurate pass by Russell Wilson, which proves to be big as we come and roll to the right, and he's unable to hit anybody, so we get the ball back with 
Uh, three and a half minutes left. And Ty Chandler is going to keep getting the rock because he is playing phenomenal in this game. He's going to get to the outside, gain four yards. Then he's going to get the ball again. He's going to take it to the outside. He's going to beat a tackle there and beat another tackle. Gains about eight, maybe nine yards on that. And then he's going to run up the middle with a bunch of running room. Fall forward for a first down. So Ty Chandler is having the San Francisco 49ers offense on his back right now. And now we have him spread out wide, and it's going to be an immediate sack right up the middle. So that's not good. And at 30-11, we hand him on, hand him all, hand it off on a stretch, and it's stuffed. So big run defense late in the game. But we're going to have to go for it with on fourth down with all our timeouts. And we look for John Vay Johnson, the hero in game one. He is the hero so far in game two. Hopefully we, we have good defense so we can have that stand up as a game-winning TD. He had the game-winning TD in uh, game one hopefully that's a game winning TD in game two and as you can see we missed a PAT so he's only down two so all he has to get is the field goal and you could see a big flag there an intentional grounding on Russell Wilson so we're going to accept that send him back further and as you can see I knew he was going to look for DK Metcalf running up the middle there we cover that well he overthrows him so we're not worried about that and then we're going to look up the middle again because we called the cover two and I know he saw that so we uh, lurk that and we get an interception and that's pretty much going to do it for this game. Well that's not actually because he's still got three timeouts so we have to make sure we get a first down at least and Ty Chandler gets a couple there. We're going to hand it off to Ty Chandler again on an out. He's going to get tackled at the 20, so it's going to set up a third and five. So we need five yards to milk this away, and we get the five yards from Ty Chandler with a big run. So as you can see there, after that big run, we let the clock run down. We had 248 yards rushing, 34 to 32. We get the win, and 129 yards passing, so we didn't have to pass much. As you can see, Jimmy Garoppolo had a pretty good game. Ty Chandler with 237 yards on the ground, 30 carries, and two touchdowns. A big run-heavy game just based on the, the weather. And uh, Jimmy Garoppolo had a good game with a 101.3. He didn't put the ball in the air as much, but he still had a big game um, with two touchdowns and one interception. And our hero in the receiving is John Vay Johnson with that game-winning touchdown. So that's two game-winning touchdowns for John Vay Johnson in two weeks. So he's been a big pickup in the offseason. Um, as you can see, he had one catch, only one catch for 50 yards and a touchdown, but that one catch was huge. And Debo Samuel had another solid game. Uh, he's been the most consistent next to John Vay Johnson. And as you can see, Randy Gregory and Nick Bosa both had a sack. Nick Bosa only, a ha only had a half of play, and he got injured early in the third, uh, the third quarter. So we didn't have him full game. And uh, we had a couple of interceptions, one by Randy Gregory. That's two interceptions on the season. And we're going to take a look. We got a progression on uh, Ty Chandler. Unfortunately, I didn't record it um, on my um, on my uh, capture card. So I wasn't able to show you the actual progression. But we're going to scroll through here just to take a look at it. A huge game. Get some uh, uh, progression points. So hopefully uh, we get a uh, dev story next week. And then we could get his dev up from normal to star. Um, but a huge game by him, and we're going to take a look at the injuries. Nick Bosa is not on that injury report, injury report, so that's good. So we will have him back next game. It would it would have sucked to not have Nick Bosa after losing uh, Kinlaw on that defensive line. Nick Bosa is a huge piece of that defensive line. And we're going to take a look at the season stats. As you can see, Ty Chandler having a good season. 40 carries, 267 yards with a 6.7 yard, uh, yard per carry clip. And, um, yeah, he's... Uh, he, after a rough first week, that second week, he ran all over the Seahawks, which was a good week to do it because the rain, I didn't trust throwing the ball as much, and it was good that we could focus focus on keeping it on the ground. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Uh, Ty Chandler, once again, 237 yards in his second career start, uh, career high and a season high in PML. Um he was definitely the MVP in that, even though uh, t um, John Bay Johnson had the game win in TD. He, uh, uh, Ty Chandler definitely carried that offense on his back, so we're thankful for that. Uh, but that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I hope you all like. Uh, I hope you all are loving the content. Please like, subscribe, and tell your friends about it. Uh, we're going to keep this going. Uh, week three, we look uh, forward to the Arizona Cardinals, another division matchup. They are one and one. We are 2-0, oh, so hopefully we get a win there. Um, but that's going to pretty much do it for me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for um, 
tuning in and thank you for following the series. I appreciate y'all and we are out of here.